So gamers are absolutely loving Stellar Blade, and guess what? They hate it! They don't like it, and you probably heard of the studio by the name of Black Girl Gamers. They apparently now launching a lawsuit at Endymion TV. You cannot make this up. We're gonna get down to it, wait for the climax, wait for the plot twist, like the video if you want truly like female characters, make woman woman again, yeah. right? And you want female characters like Stellar Blade, dislike the video if this is what you want, like biological males dressed up as female, roll it. So I guess I just reviewed the demo and I give it two big f Democracy, right? Let's see what people Want. Bat thumbs way up. Wait Definitely try it if you can. You might also notice I never once mentioned anything remotely close to woke nonsense in my mini review there. Rare product where those things are not present whatsoever and it was beyond refreshing to witness. The female characters are strong, yes, this but even Eve gets saved by Adam in the demo, which is something that would never happen in a Western game. Yeah. Because we can't have men saving women, otherwise that means <laughs> women don't have any agency. Not very ESG friendly if you do something like that. So every woman has to be an ugly fusion of muscle, brain, and ultimate girl boss power in everything Western games make these days. Yeah. Stellar um, Blade, girls, huh? it felt like I was playing a game with the sensibility queen, and queen. philosophy of something from the PS2 era. As in, it doesn't care about politics or shoving messages, it just wants to be fun. And thank God for that, fellas. But I can't wait for the game. Of course, on the flip side, some yeah. people are obviously angry about it. Like IGN, for example, the French branch of the website to be exact. Yeah, Their the article Francais, about the- The Francais, ah ouais, esti, ah ouais, tabarnak, je pète tes dents, ah ouais, esti. <laughs> Anybody from Montreal, let me know, man. The demo went up, and it was about as tone deaf as you'd expect. Of yep. course, it's obviously in French, but with the power Wait of the it? internet and Google Translate, we can understand what this journalist had to say. So if what I read next is a little off, I apologize, uh -oh. but I'm simply reading what this IGN France article said in a translated uh -oh. text. So they said, and I quote, The design of the game, particularly its characters, highlights an obvious bias. We're going to smash the alien, but we can do it while pleasing these gentlemen, that's a bonus, and the result is not really a success. It's not new, and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters, where where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design, or a 2B from Nier Automata inspires an entire Damn, generation huh? of cosplayers, Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland. A doll sexualized yeah. by someone you would think has never seen a woman. <laughs> a a tight jumpsuit that. featuring absurd proportions, perfect heels for going to war, a ponytail so long that they have to put an option to yeah. shorten it in the settings. Nothing Bruh. works. Bruh. Fortunately, the animation <laughs> is there and Eve moves with a grace and style that oh, catches up with a painting. We love the ponytail, W ponytail, <laughs> like the video for a ponytail. It's crazy, like these suckers, bro, I gotta, I, I'm, I admire that pony, bro. I admire that ponytail because it's like, you know, linked with her being a female. And more so than that, like, it's a video game and you get to see the hair physics, right? Because apparently doing hair in the games, it's the hardest thing. It's one of, probably not one, uh, if it's not the hardest thing, it's like one of the hardest thing to do uh, and get it right. So the fact that the dev was able to get that right, I mean, shout out to the dev, man. Shout out to South Korea, W South Korea, W Game, uh, W Gamers. But Shin Jae-un, the Korean model serving as the character's model, is lost under layers of clumsy plastic modifications that makes her unrecognizable both in body and face. The good news is that now that I've explained the only reservation I have with this game, all that remains is positive. This what? Stellar Blade demo delighted me from start to finish. It's rare that when I reach the end of a demo, I immediately restart it to take another ride." End quote. Yeah. So there's a lot to unpack. Brothers love riding again and again though! <laughs> Yay! Brothers love riding though! Brothers love it! <laughs> Yay! Here from IGN France. Firstly, they say that Eve is unrecognizable when compared to her real-life model counterpart, who is the Korean supermodel Shin Jae-un, except that's not true at all. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison, and I think for anyone watching, they would agree that Eve looks quite a lot like Shin does in real life. In fact, I would say Shin is almost more curvy and busty in real life than Eve is, but hey, I'm not complaining, it's still great. This entire article, it just reads like your typical woke journo checklist. And it's tiring to see how warped these people's brains have become due to their industry echo yeah. chambers. They're punished for wrong things. Man, they, they cannot. Their neurons, like the blood circulation and brain is just not happening anymore. Like they have seen so many women high on testosterone here in the West. And it's like they, they don't even know what's a woman anymore, right? Like that's what's daily happening Daily basis. Right now. And they're encouraged to not be their own individuals anymore when it comes to these things. We saw recently how Niche Gamer got disciplined and blacklisted by companies for simply covering the sweet baby drama. And yeah, and the craziest thing here is that, that Elon Musk himself oh, 
says that it should not be acceptable for any company in the gaming industry to be racist and sexist uh, against white guys. Absolutely. W. Elon. W. Elon. I think that that's a similar case here as well. These journos are just trained pets at this point being told when to bark, what to do, and how to say it unless they want to be whipped for stepping out of line. Any person mm. who looks at this game and goes, wow, how gratuitous this is, honestly, they just hate happiness is what I think. This game's demo was awesome, dude. I'm genuinely so excited for its release, it's ridiculous now. I thought the game would be good, or at least okay oh, maybe, but upon shaking. playing it, it feels like these devs have been making action blockbusters for years, you'd think. It's so competently made. Everything mm. runs smooth as hell, the combat is just so good, and then you're given this sizzle reel after you beat the demo, and it starts teasing stuff like machine gun arm cannons you get to use and more. Holy. And you get to do all these cool stuff like sliding really fast through and- and, and I said that in the last video, right? Like, if the game turns out bad, uh, I mean, objectively speaking, not talking opinions here, like, objectively, if the game turns out bad, even then it's gonna sell really well right now because all, all of this woke nonsense, ha not, no, woke nonsense has gone so far that people are tired of it and people are now willing to buy games that are not woke. But, guess what happened? <laughs> They put out this demo and people are loving it right now. So you know what? Yo, now yo, people yo, are yo. genuinely gonna want to buy the game and people want to genuinely support a dev team that's like passionate first of all. Secondly, they are truly gamers and they're making games, this game for gamers. And third of all, it doesn't have the woke crap. And fourthly, it has a female character that's actually a female and brothers are loving it! Brothers depression rate are going down when they're playing it. So obviously brothers gonna buy it if it turns out the game later on is amazing. This, all of this woke nonsense and all of this controversy for literally no damn reason all of this is gonna pour gasoline on the fire what i mean by this is that it's gonna just boost up the sales big time we all saw what happened with hogwarts legacy they were they tried to cancel that game and it sold even more a because like you know it's harry potter people know about it and b like all the controversy pour more gasoline on the fire and a lot of people are like okay let's let's go ahead and buy the game so they've tried uh, to make sure that people don't buy but they buy it they ended up buying it environments honestly the entire time i was playing the demo i was thinking how the hell is this game even real when you compare it to the sludge the west is pumping out stellar blade is going to sell millions dude i would be I shocked so. if it I doesn't break so. a million in sales under 24 hours i fully expect it to break records Honestly, I think sony has a new franchise on their hands here and i think if they want this ip to soar to unimaginable heights they should just let developer shift up, do what they yeah. want completely. Don't censor- and, and you know what? Like, Hogwarts Legacy, I got nothing but good things to say about Hogwarts Legacy other than the only thing I didn't like was uh, the story was kind of weak. It wasn't too bad, but it was weak. And on top, they had, like, a trans representation in the game, which is okay, whatever. But, like, y you know, the, the problem, the same sick is that actually wanted to boycott the game they were the ones that were screaming hey man they did the game is uh, transphobic meanwhile they had they tried to please the woke left and they put in a trans character but they were still mad they were like if you play this game you're transphobic and all that bs happened uh, and the game turned out that it was actually good and it sold very very well but now it's like warner bros don't I don't know what they're doing because recently they came out with a statement. They're like, they, we know they're working on Hogwarts Legacy 2. Yeah, big shocker if you did not know. They're working on Hogwarts Legacy 2. And if you like Hogwarts Legacy, you're going to be happy about it. I was happy about it till they actually said that the next one, the next Hogwarts Legacy is going to be live service like Suicide Squad. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So it's like you put out Suicide Squad. People don't like it. You put out Hogwarts Legacy. People love it. And you're going to have part two of it but you don't want to really do it like the way you did hogwarts legacy but you want to do it more the way like suicide squad which actually failed miserably you cannot fix stupid bro you cannot hear them don't tell them what to do uh, obviously time will tell how it turns out but this is like what they are saying behind the scenes and uh, this is what we are hearing in the news as well at all just give them money and let them cook because i think we got another game of the year contender on our hands here fellas but unfortunately, I, I if we look I at hope. last year, I feel as if Stellar Blade will absolutely be docked down by review sites and echo chambers for not bending the knee. To quickly remind you, remember that last year Hogwarts Legacy came out, and that game was the best-selling game of last year. It even yeah. beat Call of Duty, if you can believe it. Yet Crazy. when it came to award season, it was suspiciously absent across the board, even though it reviewed well and obviously people bought it in the millions. 
It was excluded because of J.K. Rowling and her opinions on trans Crazy issues. Man. So the Absolutely. game was essentially forgotten come award season because of yeah. one thing. And I genuinely fear that Stellar Blade. And, and like the crazy thing here is that they still had like trans representation in the game, but the woke left are so like I, dog. They had your representation in the game, but even then those suckers didn't like the game. Even then they were like, no, boy called the game, boy called the game. It's like, bro, like holy crap, bro. It's a game that people love. Like let people play, let people <laughs> have a game that's not like shoving politics down their throats, right? Let people just enjoy. It. Games are just a way for people to escape. Same way movies are, but all of this crap has plagued the the, the Hollywood and uh, and Hollywood is not not the same though. You know the new movies are not hitting other than like maybe Tom Cruise movie, right? I'm actually excited for the next Mission Impossible sequel, right? But other than that, it's like damn bro like what the hell like I, I remember seeing like the uh, Tom Cruise movie You, you know that that uh, I, I don't remember the name But the, the the piloting one the aviation movie and I saw the movie in theater I'm like bro after a very long time. I'm seeing this movie and holy shit. I love it It was like holy crap and then the story was amazing for that movie and also less cgi i think there was cgi but it's like i watched it and i didn't even notice so it's like if it had cgi that's like doing cgi the right way so i i actually loved it how many times uh you, you got to say that for latest movies right like how many movies out of 10 that comes out nowadays that are actually really really good like one or two perhaps right likely face similar backlash to this. I'm sure there will be articles of journalists complaining like IGN has here saying, oh, it's not realistic. But I also wouldn't be surprised if the game scores lower than we think, because the people who review this for sites like IGN and more will likely score it lower simply because the game very evidently does not bend the knee in any given yeah, way. Give it zero. It is simply Absolutely, unrealistic yeah. in their eyes and an abomination in terms of what these journals want based on their echo chambers. I guarantee you that every review will have an obligatory section where they talk about over-sexualization or the male gaze. I would put money down on it. These journos, they can't help themselves. It's going to happen, mark my words. But I genuinely think that this is going to be a great game, unless of course it just all falls apart when it yeah. releases. But based on this demo, which was obviously released the same month as the game comes out in, this demo is pretty much what the full game is Yeah, I, I truly do hope the game su uh, succeeds, and now let's get down to it. Uh, I actually saw this video earlier, and this is where I noted down the timestamp, right? Black Girl Gamers launches lawsuit at Endymion on TV, he said, okay, let's see. <laughs> said via Twitter, as our attorney Ron Coleman stated yesterday, John Trant received a cease and desist from Black Girl Gamers. That cease and desist goes oh, farther shit. than anything that I have personally ever seen in chilling freedom of the press. So, Holy Black Girl Gamers crap. is hell-bent on ensuring that nobody in any capacity can speak out against them and they are attempting to silence anyone who criticizes them. Of course, all this will do is cause the Streisand effect again, and this will just become the Sweet Baby Gamergate 2 thing all over yeah. again. In case you don't know what a The more you try to hold the water, the faster it comes and it goes through right it goes through your hand like you cannot stop the water it's gonna make its way from somewhere else okay it's gonna make its way out of it all right and the more they try to silence people the more people are gonna talk about it this is what you're seeing happen happening all across uh the video game industry you look at the videos you're watching the videos people everybody's making videos on it uh rightfully so everybody's talking on twitter everybody's talking in the comment section you guys are talking about it as well and and everybody just had enough so the more you try to silence the people the more they're gonna talk bro this is not that strategy like if you're gonna like now file season desist try to uh, stop people from talking Guess what? You you were successfully able to stop one guy. Okay, how about two people? How about ten people? You successfully were able to stop ten people from talking. Guess what? Hundred more are ready to talk about the same crap you stopped these people for. You know what? You want to stop hundred of those? Guess what? It's gonna snowball, and, and then you got a thousand, a thousand other people talking about all this crap. The cyst is, by the way, it's basically a legal notice issued by whoever is the victim. I guess Black Girl Gamers in this case and that they want their abuser, who is apparently that park place, the deceased is made to silence the opposition into legally being bound to cease any illegal activity that they're being accused of. But again, what that park place has done is not illegal in the slightest. You can't sue someone for talking about you, that's not how the legal system works. If yeah, that was allowed, then anyone who disagreed with whoever else could be shooting out cease and desist notices like Spider-Man shoots out webs. <laughs> you would have random Twitter users who get ratioed or something being able to cease and desist the people who own them because they hurt their feelings. Yeah, you can crazy, see how man. such a power could easily be manipulated and abused beyond the confines of legal activity. 
Of course, Black Girl Gamers is still going ahead with this lunacy regardless, but it won't end well. Absolutely nuts, bro. Could you imagine, like, everybody on the streets would... And I get it, like, in America, you, you can get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction. Uh, a metaphor, metaphorically speaking, not literally, though. But, but, like, but like, damn, homie, like, imagine, like, you're... You, you say one thing and you get sued for that. It's like, then, all of a sudden, like, you're living in that social credit environment and nobody can say anything. Nobody can talk. Like, what the hell is going on right now, Well, bro? in their favor, because what they're advocating against is not a tangible thing that can be controlled or regulated like this. Nothing that we're saying is hate speech. Even if they disagree with it, you're not absolved from criticism simply because of your skin color, gender, or pronouns. In a functioning society of common sense, which isn't really what we're living in now, let's be real, but even then, this can't be allowed. If Black Girl Gamers does eventually somehow manage to sue that park place and win their lawsuit, Man. which is pretty much 0%, but let's play devil's advocate if do, here. Right, if they like, do, then the era of free speech is more cooked over. than we thought. At that point, like, it's Joe over, it's Dunzo, it's Fineto, it's Gonzo, okay? <laughs> if that actually happens and they win that lawsuit, I mean, oh my god, oh my god. Bro, at that point, it would be just better to become a monk then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll become a monk, settle myself on a mountain in Tibet, I know this is like, what I want to do if GTA 6 turns out to be bad and woke, right? I'm waiting for GTA 6, I hope it's not woke, guys, come on, bro. GTA 6 is the last game I want to see be, it be woke. Okay, you can have, you know what, like, uh, I don't want to say 9 games out of 10 games because already that's how it is. Bruh. But, but like, okay, 1 or 2 games that are woke, alright, alright, you know what I mean? But like, leave the gamers alone, leave the games alone, man, not every game needs to be woke, bro, and GTA 6 is one of those games that Sega's waited like years for, Sega's are trying to stay alive for that game, Sega's trying to eat healthy to stay alive for that game, and it's gonna be... Probably by the time it comes out, it's gonna be 13 years, maybe even 14 years uh, since GTA 5. That's the last game we wanna see it be woke, guys. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm crying out here. I'm putting my right hand. Guys, take your right hand, take your left hand, put it together, set a prayer out. Let's hope it's not woke, bro. Let's hope it's not woke. And more so than that, let's hope it's good. Because if it turns out woke and bad, I'm becoming a monk, bro. I'm becoming a monk, settling myself on a mountain in Tibet. On December 32nd of the year, the game comes out, okay? Bruh. Yeah, December 32nd. Not before, not after, on that day, bruh. Nothing that Park Place said was problematic or wrong, and simply making articles or videos Toxic, speaking on these things while using information that black girl gamers themselves said is not illegal. Because while an unknown concept of gaming journals, but that's what real journalism is. It's about reporting on things and actually compiling information that is relevant and true to the situation at hand. And of course, that goes right over the heads of these activists. I saw this one post, also don't harass this person, but here's what they said. Black Girl Gaming creates their own safe space because you excluded them. They became successful even when you excluded them. History has shown y'all made fun of Black Girl Gamers since they started and now y'all want to pull this stunt. It's sad, are you not feeling welcome in your own space? But here's Bruh. the thing, they show absolutely Bruh. no evidence that black players are excluded Where? in any community, especially at a video game. Bruh, as a brown man, bro, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody pulling that race card up as a brown, as a big ass brown man with an ass as well. Bruh. I I'm sick and tired, I truly am. But on a second thought though, like, I do believe that GTA 6 is gonna be a little bit woke, though. I guess everybody can expect that because in real life there is like woke crap, in Miami there is probably some woke crap, so... It's gonna be, and at that point, I wouldn't call it woke, I would say like, okay, it's a real life simulator, but if they actually go up a notch and they do what, and they shove trash down, uh, and they try to shove trash down other people's throats, at that point, yeah, it would be woke, uh, I, and that's the thing that I hope, and many gamers are hoping that's we don't get down to that. What you guys think, that you think GTA 6 is gonna be woke or what? When have Hopefully black not, players but... been excluded? Where? There's tons of black Where? players when it comes Where? to things like fighting games, yeah. shooters, or RPGs. This is just yeah. lies and propaganda that's being spewed because Black Girl Gamers is only successful, I guess, at destroying brands like Forspoken, and also hiring and promoting people within their company as long as they fit their agenda. These mm -hmm. people are delusional is what they really are. They're attempting to gaslight, but it's not working how they want to because people aren't stupid. There's absolutely yep. no evidence that anyone is excluded from any community because they're black or whatever else. Most people online don't even know what your skin color or anything is unless you post it. Seconds don't even care, bro. People don't care. You just make a good game. And, and for example, right, like if you're a black content creator, I'm talking like in my field, like a streamer or a YouTuber, if you're good at what you do, 
Bro, pe people gonna subscribe. Kai Sanet, one of the the, the 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 best personality on Twitch, right? And he's on the top. Why? Because he's good and people like him and, you know, he has found his audience and his audience loves it. That's why he's on top. Same goes with the video games. Nobody care whether you're a man, female, uh, what race, what religion you follow, whatever, right? Like, you make a good product, you make a good product, people love it. End of discussion. It just comes down to that. You suckers are gaslighting and you suckers are dividing everybody over that bull crap, bro. Click on this video on the screen. This is the last one that we did. Microsoft is apparently all over this one right now. Like, Microsoft apparently went full woke. You want to see what they did? You want to see what they said? Click on this video and I'll see you right there. On the left, this video is on my second channel, by the way.